Okay, just got done uh, here. We'll see now if uh, everything still works as we planned here after we got Ubuntu installed. Um, right now we still have the OSX uh, Darwin bootloader running active. Um, you'll notice we have Linux now at the bottom, our third partition. Second partition against OSX and is our active partition. First is XP. We'll check OS, uh, Ubuntu first. Here we get a grub loader. And again, um, you probably want to go back and of course tweak everything out, which you know probably be another half hour per each OS. But the big part, you know, getting the operating system installed and actually booting in a proper way you want has been taken care of now, so. Ubuntu loads pretty decently, not too bad. I mean, it's uh, about, about OS X speeds. Um, not crazy fast, but still decent. XP, I think, still probably wins uh, the boot times, I'd say. So here we go, Ubuntu running nicely. Let's quick reboot here and uh, make sure our OS X install still works fine. So again, my order of install is XP, OS X, and then Ubuntu. Uh, the main thing in Ubuntu was clicking that advanced button and making sure not to install the bootloader on the hard drive itself, the hard drive's MBR, but on the partition itself. That way uh, each partition has its own native uh, bootloader. And this would be, uh, we'll just do real time boot speeds of uh, OS X. Again, this is uh, without anything installed right now either, or drivers redone. So there we go, there's OS X up and running again. And I guess we might as well complete it with our XP to verify everything truly did do it with that. These are all, this is all real time boot speeds too, so it kind of gives us an idea on how fast each OS kind of loads on this uh, machine. This does surprisingly load pretty well too. Shutdown seems to take a little longer though with OS X initially, so I'm not sure if that's a few things I need to tweak to fix that problem. And there's XP. So there's a triple finale finish. I peace.